So we're doing a twin tension lower using IDs and we're going to have one operator operating two IDs. I've got this linked to an enforcer on the blue rope, this to an enforcer on the yellow rope and this is forwards of the, the common connection of the two points. We've got 275 kilograms but it's through a pulley with 10% loss so that's why we're reading down to about 2.4 kilonewtons. So I'm going to start my lower so I'm going to have my brake hand on two brake handles and I'm going to have the extra friction carabiner as required for, for, for heavy lowers and we can see the differential tension. Here we go, it'll be a bit uneven at the start but once we get going it should pretty well even out. There we go, we're pretty close. And then about halfway down, what I'm going to do, should just look at what happens if we do a panic grab. There you go, so both, on with both we reset on both and then we can start going again. We have a second person managing the tails of these ropes just to make sure there's no tangles. But now that we're about halfway, what I want to do is simulate what would happen if we go down to one rope. So I'm just going to release all the tension from the yellow rope here. See the blue rope's locked off and it's holding that. I'll take the yellow rope out of this carabiner. I'm going to take that yellow rope right out of this device as well. So now we really do have that whole mass on this one device. So now I'm down to just the straight single redirection and I can affect that lower and it works just fine. However, I should certainly, as per the instructions, go to a to hitch to provide extra friction on the tail of that rope. So here we go again. Now with the to hitch I'll just change back to these hands. So I see that more to hitch giving us the extra friction on the tail coming into the ID. So it's reading all 250 on this one ID, which is just on the maximum weight spec. And now we're down to the ground. That was about a, about a five and a half meter lower.